hello there hope you're all well and good i'm just out on one of my health walks today i'm trying to dodge in between rainstorms um, something you have to do when you're doing your daily health walks um, so on this health walk i'm on today it's one i've done loads of times i do it quite regular there's this area that i found out about which i've not been before so i'm going to have a look at that area and hopefully, if I can find it, I'm going to show you something really, really cool. So here we come. This is Oakwood Mill. So I've just come here today to have a look around. Um, the whole area is going to be redeveloped soon and it's very derelict. It's in a very dangerous state of repair and I urge nobody to come and uh, visit this place because it is very dangerous. I'm taking a risk being here. So rather than miss yourselves, just watch the videos of this from the comfort of your own home. Oakwood Mill was built as a specialist spinning mill for the Staley Mill Company between 1851 and 1887. They sold it off and all the machinery for £13,000 in 1937. During the Second World War, the mill was used to house Italian prisoners of war. Centrally, there was a clock tower that was dated to 1857. A new engine house was built in 1908, which has glazed white bricks internally. History from the end of the war is a bit sketchy. It ended its life being used for various light industrial purposes, closing in the late 80s or early 90s. So there you have it, there's a bit of history of this place. So that was a nice little bonus for today's walk. Never seen that mill before. I would have actually gone in it if I could, but every single entrance has been sealed up now. And like I say, it is very dangerous. So the whole area is going to be redeveloped now and I think they're going to call it Staley Park. So they're going to take down all these old buildings and all this unmanaged woodland that's a bit of a mess. Although I like it because it's wild. They're going to uh, do it all nicely and make proper cycle paths and walking paths that are safe for people to walk on. So I think it's great that because it's great that everyone has a safe place to walk. You know, children and elderly people are going to be safer. So one of the things that I really love about being out on my health walks is sometimes I just concentrate on the sounds of nature. At the moment, I can hear the river in the distance bubbling away. And you know, if I really listen to that, I find it relaxing. Uh, it's like a zone out of whatever else is going on in my head. I mean, it's still going on in the background. And just like focus on the sounds of the river. And sometimes if I listen carefully, I can listen to the bird song pick bits of it out and really focus on that and it's another technique that helps me relax here's some tiny elf cup mushrooms tiny elf cups full of blood right i've just got back home and i realized i forgot to do an ending to my video so i'll do it now i really enjoyed today's walk during this pandemic it's really important for us all to get out and exercise in fresh air for our bodies and for our minds. Uh, today's walk was really good because it was doing something that was interesting as well. I found a new area of woodland to walk in and I found a really cool derelict old mill to have a look at. So I hope you enjoyed today's video and if you did enjoy it please don't forget to like and subscribe. So keep yourselves very safe and until the next video take care. Bye.